Okay, we just got done tracking something really cool for the uh, a part of the new Necronomicon Ex Mortis. And I'm going to let Manuel here tell you what we did and what we were going for. Yeah, so we had a, a clean section that we needed. Uh, we got we got uh, the, the electric cleans on the Hughes and Kettner over there. And we just felt like it wasn't deep enough, enough 3D. Uh, so we thought, hey, let's, let's add an acoustic to it. And we had this amazing thing uh, that we plugged into and I immediately fell in love with. <laughs> um, so, and, and this microphone, which is also amazing. Using Kettner with the acoustic, with the, the delay from this thing, and it's got this really nice, rich, deep, dreamy sound that we are in love with. Yeah, it sounded great. So we went with the Mike Parts V251 tube mic, which sounds awesome on acoustic. And then the Space Echo is a new one here. Thanks to my friends at Sounds for sending that over. This thing sounds fantastic, and it's fun to play with because you actually tapped out a couple different mm -hmm. tempos because we doubled them with different delay timings and it came out really neat so let's go check it out let's start with the hughes and kettner because that's the foundation of the clean tone <laughs> The Hughes and Kettner has one of the most amazing clean tones, in my opinion. It's kind of hard to describe. It's just a really nice, like, round clean tone. Very nice. And that's the foundation. Next up is the acoustic guitar. And this is what, this is the mic. This is the 251 on the acoustic. And this is what we're using for the cut, the articulation. Here it is by itself. <laughs> Really nice articulation from that Mike Parts V251. So let's add that to our Hughes and Kettner tone. We'll start with the Hughes and Kettner and I'll turn the 251 on after a few bars. Starting to build some depth, have that nice roundness from the HK, and then we've got that nice cut, brightness, and articulation from the 251. So what's left? Here is what the space echo sounded like on its own. Let's play that in the acoustic together now. So you can hear that the Space Echo, not only is it adding some depth against the 251, but it's really thickening it up quite a bit. So let's add everything together. I'll start with the Hughes and Kettner again, and then I'll turn the acoustic on and then the Space Echo. And those three sounds we feel like works really nice together to create some nice depth, 
a really cool stereo image. Now there's gonna be some drums and bass and a few things that we are still recording and finishing up, but this is going to be a really cool foundation for this dreamy kind of uh, clean middle section of this death metal tune. The band's already released two singles from the upcoming EP that I had the pleasure of recording and mixing. It was mastered by Ernesto. The EP drops on March 31st. Go check them out. Necronomicon Ex Mortis. If you're in the market for a Space Echo, I have affiliate links down in the description to Zounds. Those links really help support the channel. We've also launched the membership portion of the YouTube channel that's gonna have some fun behind the scenes stuff and some other goodies. Plus you can help support the channel and keep us making videos. Thank you all for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.